Can I, I want to slide over in a point of personal curiosity then. As the dominant colonizer culture set up the residential schools for you know, the Mi'kmaq and all the indigenous peoples, why did they say, well, let's send the black kids to those schools as well to take their culture, take their language, and assimilate them into the dominant? Why was that never done for like the black? I have no idea. I'm curious. Oh, the answer, I think, is, is very obvious. Our numbers did not constitute a threat to hegemony. Uh, and I'll, I'll use a Malcolm X phrase, white supremacy. Our numbers were too small to represent a real threat. And we were easily, in quotation marks, easily policed and over-policed right, right, right. so, that, so that any black person in Nova Scotia who got out of line could very easily find himself, uh, and most likely himself, railroaded on trumped-up charges into <laughs> prison, never to emerge again, or perhaps to be hanged uh, on, on, ver and very sp on, on very spurious evidence. Of, of murder or some other uh, infraction, major infraction. Um, so the legal system could also be used to keep people in their place, in quotation marks. Yeah, and still is. Uh, and as, and, well, I can say more about that, but, <laughs> but uh, uh, just, to, just to stick with this. So the other option, of course, was that you would leave. Um, as many uh, uh, poor Canadians, poor white Canadians, poor black Canadians too, could always leave and go to the Boston states, as uh, they were uh, called in Nova Scotia and maritime slang. Instead of the United States, it was the Boston states, because Boston was the major city on the East Coast before New York that you might get to by, by ship or by train um, or, or uh, 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 bus or what have you, or hitchhiking. Uh, you'd try to make your way to Boston, uh, not necessarily Toronto, uh, but Boston, because New England contiguous with the Maritimes, uh, was the beacon. So you know, a, a lot of folks cleared out of PEI, I'm talking uh, white Maritimers, left PEI, left uh, New Brunswick, left Nova Scotia, and went to Boston. Uh, and they went in such numbers in the 20s and 30s during the Depression and so forth, which hit the Maritimes really hard, of course, that there was actually a Gaelic uh, broadcasting uh, station or radio station in Boston that operated for some decades, broadcasting in Gaelic for the folks who had left Cape Breton and Newfoundland and Nova Scotia and New Brunswick, PEI, of course. Yeah, uh, their numbers were so great, and uh, the, that, that was the result. In fact, I think if I remember right, Canada had a population of roughly 11 million um, in those years, and a million, something like that, left Canada, essentially going to the United States. Uh, a lot of folks... 1930s, 1930s? 1920s, 1930s. Uh, as a result of the depression, so there was there was a, a lot of out migration from here. In fact, one reason why Vermont has a, a more socialistic mindset than most American states is because they got a whole lot of Quebecois who came down to work in the lumber mills, uh, who with their George, particular. I, I was to a poet and I have a whole history. <laughs> 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 <laughs>